Well, come join me in a different kitchen. I'm still going to cook. I'm in Australia at the moment, visiting with my son and his family, my lovely daughter-in-law, and uh, my grandsons, and um, his fiance and the other grandson and his children. So I'm, oh, I'm older than you think. But anyway, so very warm. I just went out and bought a new dress today, just something a bit cooler. <laughs> And um, I'm going to do the side dishes for the meat today for dinner. So um, let's get cracking, it's so warm. And I do want to go out for my walk. I'm just waiting for the cloud burst because I'm sure there's gonna be a few spots of rain. Desperate here for water. And um, yes, so it's time to cook. Oh. The good thing is I've been here often. <laughs> so I know where a lot of things are. Um, so uh, I'll just go and rummage around for some knives and bits and pieces and then I'll start chopping. First thing I'm doing is preparing the potatoes. Now I'm going to make a potato salad and it's a combination of down under in the Netherlands. It's a bit like my mum's one with an Anita touch. Right, that's the boring part when you're cooking is doing all the peeling. Hi son. And we're keeping the scraps because Ros is feeding the chooks for one of the neighbours. I have a double boiler here. The um, cubed potato pieces will go in the boiling water and the broccoli will go on top so I can steam it and keep the crunch. Right, we'll just run these under the tap. Yeah. Time to add the potatoes. Good. And put the broccoli on top. Now I just want to steam it enough, let it nice and crunchy. All done, nice and green, soft but not mushy. Potatoes are all done, strain them off. After straining the hot potato water into a smaller saucepan, I am now going to cook the sweet potato. Now sweet potato does not take as long as the ordinary potato, so that's why I'm doing them separately. All done. Time to strain. Oops, the last few. Prepping is always what takes the longest. Eating, five minutes, it's all gone. And now all we do is wait for dinner time. I knew it was gonna rain. No, I have not had my walk yet. Drat. But oh, we need it so much. Everybody be doing happy dances, especially the barber. I'd be ever so thrilled if you were to subscribe to my channel and follow what I do. Now there's no hard or fast rule as to what goes first, but um, I shall assemble the salad and see how we go. Just make sure that you gently mix everything through the potato cubes so you don't make it a mashed salad. And the onion. And the capsicum. Oh, lovely. Who's coming for dinner? <laughs> All right. I'm having to do this single handed. Now, I remember I didn't mention grating a carrot, <laughs> but I'd actually forgotten to put it on the bench, it was still in the fridge. Now there's carrot. Bit of everything here. There we are, bit of everything. Looking very delicious. Cucumber, celery, spring onion, sweet potato, broccoli, red onion, celery. Wow. What a healthy mouthful. The almonds. And then I'll get the dressing. Now, just mixed 
a bit of Italian and whole egg mayo for the sauce. Can you record it? Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's right, Ross. You got it. What are you recording that for? <laughs> I'm just putting a little bit on, Ross. Just a little bit. Already. I'm just making the glaze for the meat. Now the really fun part, with some honey going in here, the fun part is, recent Ros have bees, so they use their own honey. And what a joy that is. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Now here we are, the source of all goodness, the honey hive, or the bee hive. But let's face it, it's where the honey comes from. Isn't that just gorgeous? Point of phrase, this was finger licking good.